Hello everyone. If you're a non-Jehovah Witness, this is something you need to to check out. If you're a Jehovah Witness, this is something that you never know. I didn't even know. This is the Watchtower Online Library. It's talking about different types of insurance. Most of the insurance purchased by individual falls under categories of property, liability, health, disability, and life insurance. The reason I'm bringing this out, I had a friend of mine told me a story about her sister. And I'm I'm gonna bring that out. And it has to do with the watchtower. Yes, the watchtower was selling car insurance around 1985 to Jehovah Witnesses, their members of the watchtower. I believe what she told me, but it was hard to believe that the watchtower would get involved of get into insurance when it's supposed to be nothing but a religion. So I believe my friend 100%, no doubts, because I have came across some things about the watchtower that made no sense. But when you start digging into it, surprise, it's um, the truth. Her story was, in 1985, the Watchtower was sending letters to the congregations that uh, if anybody wants to get in a better insurance policy for car insurance, they would make better or give you better deals. Well, this sister and a bunch of people did drop their insurance and took the policy from Jehovah Witnesses. And, but one day, this sister got into a car accident. It was her fault. And when the police and got investigated, but investigated the accident. The sister was was charged of having no insurance. How can you not have insurance when you're paying insurance through the Watchtower Bible Track Society? Well, it was simple. The Watchtower was making their members believe that they was paying something that was was up to date and it was a true policy and found out it was a fraud it was a scam and she had to pay out of her own money to fix these people's cars and what damage she had to pay for these people and their vehicle out of her own pocket. Yes, she had to pay out of her own pocket. Why would a true religion would get into a scam like that? Well, I can think of two reasons. Well, actually three reasons. One, they was money hungry. So they figured if they can get more money, they could get more rich. Two, they figured that Jehovah's Witnesses would be a better driver than most people out in the so-called world. Uh, they would be careful so they wouldn't have no accidents. Three, they were probably was hoping their Armageddon was would start before anybody would 
get into a car accident and found out that they was a fraud for scamming their own members believing that they was paying for a true reliable insurance and when most of them tried to get their insurance back they wasn't able to because the reason why because we got back from the reports that they got to a car accident and they had no insurance uh, it was kind of hard to to get the insur insurance back so what lesson do you learn from something like this never trust a religion saying that they are the truth and don't trust a religion that started a car insurance and telling you that they can give you a better deal you need to check out everything before you sign your paper, papers to any car insurance especially when they're under the truth the real truth of the watchtower and the health and disability I'm gonna bring that out in a, another video how Jehovah Witnesses or the Watchtower treats their own members when they get up to a certain age that's gonna be a really interesting video too so people wake up the Watchtower scamming people right and left they can't be God's true people because the Watchtower is the one supposed to be controlling all Jehovah Witnesses. Their thinking, their, their way they walk, the way they talk, how they treat people. And Jehovah Witnesses can't realize that they're being scammed the way the Watchtower was scamming people in the past with car insurance. This is not a religion, people. It's a money hungry company pretending to be something they're not. Thank you and have a nice day.